Disney Girl back for another episode of my Disney's Magic Kingdoms game. So today we're going to be starting off with some dialogue from Anna, who is now wearing her brand new Frozen 2 travel costume, which we just collected everything we need to bring it into the kingdom in my last video. So if you guys missed that, make sure to check that video out. As always, if you guys are having a great time here on the channel, make sure you guys give this video a big Mickey thumbs up, subscribe to Disney Girl, and of course, hit that bell for post notifications. All right, here's Anna. Huh? What's that? Hey, I see someone over there. Elsa? Is that you? Quest complete. Don't give up, Anna. If that is Elsa, she owes me at least a whole chocolate bar for making me worry so much. Oh, I love where your head is at, Anna. Yes. You know what? I would be more okay with worrying every day in my life about just like dumb things if I could just get a chocolate bar from everyone who's making me worry. Elsa, I... Uh, wait, that's definitely not Elsa. That's... Welcome a reindeer rider. So this is an event quest. Welcome rider. <laughs> oh my goodness. And no, this isn't Flynn Rider, guys. This is actually Rider from the Frozen 2 film. Now, I literally have exactly 16 hours before he becomes available. So, pretty much, I'm ahead right now. Now, that's probably because I already had Anna in my kingdom. Not because I did the Frozen 1, I guess, event. The main Frozen event that they had in the kingdom. I actually just got them from Legendary Chess here, which you guys can see, I am still missing stuff. Oh my gosh. I really want to buy it, guys. I just, I'm, I, okay. Let me just put it this way. There's enough going on in my kingdom right now. I don't know if I want to spend the money today on that as much as I want to bring it in. And I was trying to think about things like just a tiny bit going like, okay, should I bring it in right now with everything that's going on with the kingdom or should I wait like, you know, till I get some money saved up and then buy it. So I think what I'm going to do actually is wait a couple more days here um, when basically I might do it tomorrow, but I just don't know to sum it up very, very quickly. Um, yeah, I'm kind of just torn with that. But if you guys want to see me open some legendary chests sooner, I now have a donation button um, now in my description below. So if you guys want to help me out, kind of like you guys did with live streams and the super chat, uh, actually more profit just actually goes directly to me. But anyways, I can kind of more or less guarantee that I can open it sooner. Now, I do have Bruni here, who I did send out on this quest that I wanted to do yesterday for you guys. But unfortunately, I didn't do it. So uh, now I do have Bruni's dialogue sort of going, so we will be able to get that, um, I guess, in a couple of hours, which it won't be a couple hours in terms of the video, but I just have to stop my recording and then kind of go back to it. So <laughs> that's what I've started doing now, guys. It's just like, as long as I'm at home doing my stuff, what I've been doing is literally just recording and then just putting it on pause and then listening to like where I roughly was and then starting it again. Okay, so it looks like the calendar has popped up. Yay, only a couple more days left, guys, of the November calendar. And then we get the December calendar, which is a little bit more exciting than a typical monthly calendar. Uh, mind you, I wasn't disappointed with this month. This month generally and even last month was actually pretty good for a calendar just like a general month. Now December is gonna have a lot more relics. Let's just put it that way. December DMK is considering it a reward for us to be getting um, you know again a lot more relics so we will be seeing that in the calendar. I did show that I believe two videos ago. Um, it's actually you'll know it from the thumbnail Merlin's in it and it's like you can see the calendar is kind of blurred out a little bit but I have like uh, garland sort of around it. Yeah I know. I, I, I like to occasionally get a little bit wild with my uh, my thumbnails and I love to spend a little bit more time on it and stuff. That one, it shouldn't have been that hard, but it just took me a little bit of time to do. But anyway, um, that I, sh I showed and talked about the calendar and that kind of stuff along with the gameplay and like prep for the event and everything. Uh, so yeah, if you guys want to take a look at that, you can check it out there. So thanks for returning. Claim your daily reward. A turkey like concession. How many of these do I actually have now? Like seriously, how many of these do I actually have? Can we just can we just take a moment here to go and look? 
Um, I wanna, I wanna cast with Merlin in a sec here. Ah, uh, turkey leg. I don't think that's epic. More rare? It's probably uncommon. I don't know for sure though. <laughs> uh, no, it's common. Okay. So, guys, I have five of these. I'm not sure. I might even have one in my kingdom. I may have taken it out though, just because it's not my favorite. Now, you guys may go, why is the turkey like concession not your favorite? I don't eat turkey anymore, guys. I used to when I was little, but. And obviously Thanksgiving is a huge time of year. Oh, by the way, guys, I do believe in the in the States it is Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving like weekend now. Um, I know it runs a little bit differently in the country I'm in, but uh, happy, bur happy birthday. Wow. <laughs> happy Thanksgiving. I should be editing that out, but I'm probably not. Okay. Wow, happy birthday. You know what I was actually thinking of, guys? It's Frosty the Snowman, okay? You know the like original classic Frosty movie and he, when he like comes alive, he goes, happy birthday. Uh, we should all know that one. Anyways, I don't know why, but it's literally been on my mind to watch that. So I think it like randomly just popped in my head. Anyways, happy Thanksgiving. Eat lots of turkey if you like turkey. But anyway, uh, if you want to trade this in for a thousand elixirs, a common concession stand. 5,200 magic. Cricket, cricket. I just don't understand why this is so expensive. I think that, I think I have a solution, guys, to uh, the elixir thing. Oh, Crush is there on the side. <laughs> um, okay, so I have actually a solution that I would love you guys to weigh in on this. So... I was thinking for the elixir, something DMK could actually do, and it be beneficial for like them to still keep their system like kind of like this. And so it's like, you know, if you want elixir, it's gonna be a lot of magic. So I have come up with, I think, a thought process because if one concession is 5,200, why can't it just be a thousand elixirs? If you're trading something in that's you're gonna get that, it's gonna be double in terms of magic. So for example, a thousand elixirs, you're looking at 2000 magic. Now that's still a lot of magic, okay? But it would make it more affordable for a lot of things in the kingdom. 5,200 for a thousand elixirs is just way too much for any size kingdom, okay? And it's just one, all right? So if you guys are, you know, looking at, let's say a 30,000, elixir attraction or something like that well you guys can do the math put it in yeah we'll see how good your math is guys I, i've already done the math in my head and it is scary how much magic you spend on that um you know what let's let's do let's do one of these turkey legs so anyways that's my solution is that it would still cost a lot for any kingdom it being two thousand okay um, so again, two times what it is in terms of elixirs, it's going to be that in magic. So I just think it's a lot more fair to just generally say that. Now I know that, you know, everything's going to be a little bit different. So what we'll actually do here is I'll throw in now, uh, this one here. So basically it's literally almost the exact same thing. Okay, I'm gonna obviously take that one out, but literally that is just too much. I am, I am gonna trade this one in, guys, so you guys can see how this works. Um, now, a thousand elixirs is very useful, but for smaller kingdoms, this will be a disaster. You do not get enough concession stands now in the game or decorations or anything to be doing this kind of trade in, and we do need a lot of elixirs now for a few reasons. So while we wait, while we wait for Ryder here, um, basically what I'm gonna show you guys is like your character scrolls, 600, 600, okay? That is way too much, let alone if you needed to buy any of these character tokens whatsoever, it can go up to 600 elixirs, like, that's fine. I actually am okay if you guys wanna charge, like, or not you guys, sorry, DMK wants to charge us, um, 
that much elixirs for these things that's like I get it it's expensive but it's the magic that I'm worried about because characters are costing so much now in the kingdom in terms of magic we won't be seeing that really so much during like a limited time event but you know for example DuckTales characters or P Peter Pan characters to level up or Dumbo to welcome into the kingdom like it's just absolutely insane now so you know, we need to hold on to our magic. So I think that would actually be a really, really good solution so everybody would be happy. Um, I'd still say it's a lot, but, uh, you know, again, I can I can live with that. Um, now, that's why I kind of haven't bought any scrolls lately because I'm like, yeah, I don't really want to spend the elixirs because there's still a lot of great attractions that I do want, you know? They're not really going to be useful to me anymore, though. This is the problem. Just because I've already collected, for example, all the stuff with Davy Jones, Tiadama, all my Pirates characters are all maxed out. Now, maybe one day if they do an expansion on the Pirates of the Caribbean collection, this will change. But for now, it just, yeah. And two, I don't have enough room in my kingdom to put all this. I've got, like, loads of attractions in my buildings area so if you guys are like what so I, in my storage i've got so many it's actually crazy right now um i know people have more than i do in, in their storage because they have more attractions and stuff like that um because I, again i don't have everything i have most of the stuff now in the game but not everything um wandering oakens for example working on trying to get that as long as i open a frozen legendary chest um so yeah, there, there are some things that I am still missing, but you know, again, it's on a very small scale, but yeah, it, we'll just take a quick look here. Look at, look at them all. Look at them all. Like this is, that's just, that's a lot. And I still haven't bought Mike and Sully of the Rescue. That'll trigger dialogue. Um, oh look, the attraction. Ooh, upgrade rider to a level two to get it. The Enchanted Forest. Oh my gosh, it collects a token. And it's uncommon, guys, his ears had. So he might not be that difficult to get. So he must be available and it's just not showing me in my kingdom yet. Let's, uh, let's go check that out. There he is, Ryder. Not Flynn Ryder, just Ryder. Now he didn't have a huge impact in the actual film. He was supposed to be a lot more like present, but I guess they didn't use him as much as they were going to, or not supposed to, but like going to. Sorry guys, <laughs> frog jumped in my throat. Or maybe it's a salamander. Um, so yeah, anyways, I, he just, I don't feel like he had a, a large presence in the film. Neither did Honey Marin. So I feel like the fact we got these two characters is like a bit of a question mark for me. I'm happy to have them here, but not as excited, I think, as I was before I saw the film. Before I saw the film, I was like, yes! This proves they're going to be, like, really involved, and they're just not. So, yeah, there were other options they could have gone with, and other costumes, too. Instead, maybe. So, let's take a look. Rider's Reindeer Rope. Uh, actually, before I get into that, why didn't I get any notice that he's now officially, like, unlocked? Usually there's, like, this big screen that comes up, or whatever, okay. Guess not. Letting us know that, you know, we, uh, we did it. Um, so... Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell is going to be the first one. She's going to collect the reindeer rope every two hours, find lost things. Bruni's going to be very helpful, exploring for four hours. Anna, yes, I got the right quest. Um, concerned. So, guys, I'm basically just guessing with some of the quests beforehand. I'm, like, kind of just doing my prediction crazy stuff that I like to do. Um, yeah, like I haven't been sharing that with you guys because I've been worried I haven't maybe been like accurate. And again, like I don't have any leaks. They're not really doing leaks anymore. Uh, those people actually got banned for for uh, like actually leaking stuff. So anyway, like I mean, they was super helpful, but now we just ha kind of have to guess. And I'm not too bad. I usually get like at least two characters right in terms of the drops. Um, but... Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird. I mean, maybe it won't be the same for the ears hats, but we'll we'll take a look in a sec here. Um, so yeah, Anna concerned for six hours. Prince Charming. Oh, that's Cinderella's Prince Charming. That is not Snow White's. Um, accepting visitors for eight hours. That looks like Radiant Chests are now going to be available, which we haven't got a pop up for that just yet. Part the Mist. Build the Enchanted Forest, and I'm guessing we need Elsa and maybe her travel costume by the looks of things. Uh, Wandering Oakens, 12 hours. Oh, I really need it now. 
but it needs to reach the first enchantment. Ah, guys, this is unfair. I will tell you why. Because they just, like literally, what was it? Uh, last Tuesday, when they did the update for the Frozen 2 stuff, the event hadn't started, but they started putting out frozen relics. So now we could enchant those attractions. Only problem is, is that we haven't had time to collect frozen relics just yet. So I don't know how anybody's going to be able to do this. Unless they have a bundle out that's going to give us all that kind of stuff. But I mean, who wants to spend money on that, to be honest? Like, I'd rather open legendary chests and stuff like that. But that's just my opinion. Um, yeah, I just don't think they should do that with the events. After the events, if that's what they want to do to change it, that's totally fine. Like, I, I get what they're trying to do with their balancing changes and adjustments to the game. But during the event, I don't think they should do it. Yeah, that, again, that's my opinion. Because if they're doing this now to us, it just scares me what they're going to be doing in the future with these types of things to make it even more difficult and complex to get these things so like that's why I'm kind of just nervous about them starting this system it's only gonna get worse from here so yeah <laughs> please stop whatever you're doing make it stop it's not it's not cool anymore um keep an eye out honey Marin. we have to wait to welcome her because she's not currently available yet um, we still have to wait a couple of days. The Stone Giant Waterfall, that is also unavailable at the moment, it looks like. Oh, gosh. Upgrade Honey Marin to a three. Oh, boo. Reach the third enchantment. That's even worse. See, this is what I'm talking about. That is even worse. Like, what? Do you have any idea how many relics we need to get to the third enchantment? Like, any idea how many relics... That is so, it's cruel, frankly. It's really cruel. <laughs> like, that's Maleficent at work there. 150%. Wow. And, it, guys, that's like the, like what? The, like the second attraction, I guess. I shouldn't say the last because we also, too, have the premium attraction coming. Which is uh, going to be the water spirit ride. So, Yeah. What do you guys think of this? I'm saying big, massive thumbs down to this one. All right, next. Oh, I never sent Goofy or Mickey off today. Well, I guess I didn't get any right with the ears hats because I didn't send any characters out. So it looks like Bruni exploring. Now the reason why probably he wasn't on this quest was because he's on the one for dialogue right now. So yeah. <laughs> Um, then we've got Woody and Ham hang out with Woody four hours, Goofy work as a handyman six hours, and Mickey visit the fun wheel for six hours. I don't think he's got any happiness stuff, does he? No. So he's gonna go straight away and do that. So that that's it, guys, for for Ryder there. Now you do need two thousand five hundred event currency okay um also too don't forget those snowflakes 15 of them and right now the toy story collection is helping you guys out with that so make sure you're going crazy collecting for those because after the event is done it's going to be back to only the frozen collection so yeah i would definitely take advantage of this and two it's going to help you with currency as well for the event so it's like a win-win so um i'm actually really happy with that uh adjustment for sure so there we go he, we need 10 and 14. So I think that's really the, it's just a higher number. So I don't know if I'll be able to get it in by tomorrow just because the amount of characters is like, what, four for each thing? Yeah. And if you guys don't have Bruni, then that's going to definitely slow you down. And, uh, yeah. You guys should have all the other characters though for sure at this point anyway. Uh, Okay, we'll get Prince Charming back out. So, oh, it's gonna conflict, guys. No, with Timothy Q. Mouse. Oh, no. Guys, so if you are working with the Dumbo collection, Timothy Q. Mouse is gonna conflict with Ryder. I'm gonna have to check, guys, to see here quickly um, how many more we have left. Oh, I still got like nine left to collect. Okay, it's not horrible, but. The ringmaster is definitely going to be going out to collect that kind of stuff now. 
Oopsies, I do not want to use 30 gems on that. I was trying to click Timothy Q Mouse. Now, question, is he smaller than Bruni? I don't know. That's tough. I actually don't know. I would need them, like, close together. I'd have to, like, level them up one right after the other so that we could see them, like, walking around right here in the kingdom when they come out, obviously, of Cinderella's castle. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, dialogue. Anna. Were you looking for her? She's probably hanging out with Honey Marin or, I don't know, getting into mortal danger. <sighs> that came out wrong. I know Elsa's figuring out all this stuff about herself, and that's really good. I just wish she'd include me a little more. Maybe that's selfish. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? Do you want to be friends? Maybe? <laughs> Or do you just have something in your eye? <laughs> Quest complete. Fiery friend. Mm. Oh, that's it? Oh, he's so cute, though. He's so cute, though. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so there we go, guys. Um, now, both of the character tokens are uncommon, as we said, for Ryder. So, basically, Bruni's going to be, like, a huge asset. So, if you guys don't have him yet, get him. Like, he's not that expensive, and he's perfect. He is 300 gems, so if you guys have been, like, or you're not spending real money in the game, he is 300 gems, and definitely worth it. I, I think he's just adorable on top of, you know, him being useful, so... Yeah, I don't know. I love him. They should have called him Bruni, though, not the Fire Spirit. I mean, it's fine if they said Bruni the Fire Spirit or something long. I would have laughed, but, like, the fact they're just calling him the Fire Spirit, he has a name. I feel like it's kind of mean, you know? I don't know. It's like... Yeah. I don't know. It's like saying, like, Harry Potter. I was trying to think of an example. It's like Harry Potter, if you just called him, um, you know, the boy who lived, like, right in front of him. It's just like, if that's what you put, it'd be like, uh, yeah, I am, like, a person, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> well, I guess in this case, he's a salamander, but you know what I mean? It's just like, I feel like it's kind of insensitive. Get ahead with special event chess. Uh, what? Radiant chest contains frozen character tokens, and sapphire chests contain relics and blueprints. What are they doing to the sapphire chest? Why do they keep changing chests? It's just like, it doesn't make any sense to me. This is not balancing changes. This is just like change of management or whatever oh no 20 gems for blueprints and relics yeah guys they're not they're not gonna get my gems for this sorry i don't care how many blueprints and relics they give and this is kind of dumb because they had just had the sapphire chest for the bribe and guys the sapphire chest has always been very special for the last like what three years this game has been around it has been the christmas chest right this is the chest that you always got on christmas i know they're changing it this year but like this was a very very special chest and now i feel like they didn't say anything about it it wasn't like oh we're changing the appearance of the sapphire chest or something they just did it and it kind of like it kind of ruins now that for the calendar actually in december because like, what is it, on the 3rd, I think it is, of December, we're getting, um, we're getting a sapphire chest, and I thought, oh, this is so great, like, it might, it's probably gonna be, like, the bride or something for those people that missed out on it back in October, and it's been, like, what was it, was it, like, 100 gems per chest, it was, like, insane, and so, now the sapphire chest has kind of lost its meaning to me, so, I don't know. I now it's just another random chest. Uh yeah. I they they need to sort out what they're doing with these chests because like it's just getting confusing. And I don't like the fact that now we have to get two separate ones for the different things. 
I guess this guarantees you a higher chance. I guess looking at the positive side of this, this does give you a chance, guys, to collect blueprints and relics specific to the event. And you don't have to worry about it dropping character tokens or whatever. So that is a positive. Um, I think I would only buy these chests if it was like five gems. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I just, I, I'm not going there. Let me know, though, if you guys are going to purchase some. You have a limit, though, every day um to purchase three and that's it so yeah you can't you can't you can't spend more than 60 gems a day which is essentially the price of a legendary chest um now the radiant chests are also 20 gems now this is going to give you currency as well as character tokens and it looks like happiness too so if you guys are working on leveling up other characters in the event as well this could be very very useful i'm more interested in the currency in this one but um, I think I'm gonna hold off buying these and there's no like paid bundle either um, So yeah, I'm not spending my gems. I don't think on these guys, but yeah, feel free to let me know what uh, you're doing with your kingdom uh, Yeah, so basically if I'm spending any gems whatsoever it is on legendary, but uh, yeah I'm gonna wait another day <laughs> All right, let's make sure everybody is out doing their thing here for Ryder. Um, Tinkerbell's two hours and it's not conflicting, so that's good. Um, oh, we have a bronze chest to open here. No happiness, I need happiness. That would be my reason, guys, for opening the legendary chest packs. I need my happiness to go up again. It just is dropping so fast. It's hard to get ahead with it, let alone stay exactly at the same uh, same amount. Well done, my okay, let's get my characters going here. Uh, is Bruni just about ready? Bruni must be about ready, guys. I'm gonna have to check this. Buzz, come back. Because yeah, I guess he's just going for currency, so we'll let him you do his thing. Right space, uh, let's go up to Bruni, and then I'll bring back Simba here. Who I leveled up because he wasn't that long, so I kind of was looking for somebody to do. No, Bruni's not ready yet. No, oh, it's his ears hat. Holy. Okay. Um, yes, they, we've got some work to do with that. Cinderella. I'm going to send her for the happiness for 60 minutes first and then I'll worry about the rest of it. So yeah, let's take a look here, guys, at the frozen stuff, I think, now. Yeah, 15. Like, I've managed to get some relics, guys, out of the bronze chest, which is actually quite lucky, because um, I know for the tangled relics, I literally didn't get any for, like, what, over a month? <laughs> it was really dumb. Like, it was actually maybe even longer than that. Like, not even one, so it was just wild. Bambi, I haven't got any of those yet. Yeah. You also guys can do the resource chest, I guess, as well, and attraction enchantment, and if you wanna try and get some relics too. But uh, those, are, those are around all the time, so I'd say if you are gonna try and spend any gems on anything, I would say just buy them the Sapphire ones or else the Radiant. Yeah, all right. That was a little bit uh, less eventful. Now, the one thing is, though, is that there's still no concessions or additional decorations for this. I guess there's a lot of decorations already part of Frozen, but I would have liked to have maybe seen um, a couple of more concession stands, you know? Like, I just, I don't know. I know we don't really have the room for them in a lot of ways in the kingdom, but we, we don't have a lot. I guess I'm trying to think here. Maybe I should move this one. Hold on, I'm gonna see, because I think I got a concession the other day, the fruit uh, fruitcake one. Mm, I think I already had one of those in my kingdom, but yeah, there it is. I guess I'll turn it this way. There. There's the fruitcake. We're not in Ultra Zoom, are we? Uh, I don't think so. But we'll know by looking for Bruni. 
no, we're not. <laughs> Sometimes it looks like it in certain sections, and obviously with bigger characters, but, uh, yeah. Okay, get magic here. Magic. Okay, let's bring back Simba. I want to bring him back. All right, here we go. Simba is now level seven. You know, I think my father would be proud. I love when you click him that he does that. Some of the characters, like we saw the Incredibles in my last video doing it, like Mr. Incredible, and then obviously Syndrome is the funniest, but uh, Simba, Simba's right up there in terms of comedy, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, good times. Oh, Miguel was on stage there? Oh my gosh. There, guys, I haven't seen this before. Yay. Oh, I knew there was going to be animations at some point with this one. Okay, so with the musical celebration attraction, Miguel goes um, to do the, the quest concert performance. And that's the one that he's actually collecting for Mama Coco's ears hats. So yeah, there's the animation, guys. And no, it doesn't need to be enchanted. So you're you're in luck, guys. You're in luck. I wonder if he's singing Poco Loco. Probably. <laughs> On uh, six hours. I'm surprised more of the Frozen characters aren't helping out with uh, Ryder. I'm actually kind of surprised about that. Like, spend, you know, give him something to do. I feel like they're not even going to be used in this event or something. But, I don't know. Maybe it'll be side quest only stuff? I guess that makes sense, because they're not including the characters in the event, so... Yeah. I suppose it makes sense. My tiny arms have limitations. Um, oh gosh, yeah, I need to, for Timothy Q. Mouse, that's what I need to be careful of, making sure people are actually going for that, so that that way we can get that out of the way and I won't level him up. Gosh, that makes me nervous, just like general characters, you know? Whew, stressful, stressful. And then I have to be careful not to send like Randall out with uh, Mike Wazowski because that's his currency and stuff. I figure they those two will probably be useful maybe for like Honey Marin or something collecting for her. Um, just try to think like ahead to that uh, just because they are collecting currency. So it is very possible that it's going to be that particular quest with them that's going to help. There's not like really many characters and stuff like that. Actually, no, that's I think the only quest for the Monsters, Inc. characters. So... Yeah. Um, I want to level up DuckTales, but I'm nervous. And I want to do Anna as well, but she's like 24 hours. But the thing is, is that if I do do that, then... Oh, that's going to interfere with Ryder. I'm probably going to have to wait until the attraction's being built or something like that. And then I'll be able to do it. But even still, I, I worry about that because Ryder and uh, Anna could have quests together. Whew. All right. Well, got, got some decisions here. I might still have to wait to do Anna. So I don't want to use gems or anything to, like, finish it all off. But if it comes to that, I don't know what I'll do. I have to kind of wait and see. Yay. Magic! Oh my gosh. I'm at 1.5, but like literally it's gonna go so quickly. So, so quickly. Alright, who am I gonna level up next? Is there anybody from Coco? Nobody yet? Really? Ah, oh, oh my gosh. Hector is taking forever. Dante? No. We have a big problem, guys. Those Coco characters are gonna take forever to do. Yikes, it's making me a bit worried about that as well. Finding Nemo. Uh, 
Okay, I'll bring I'll bring back Squirt here. I just want to check something. Uh, Raja's not ready yet. Oh wow, he has a lot of stuff still to do. These are all 16 hours. I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna try and do all three hyenas, maybe like around the same time, so we can get all their welcome screens. So that'll be kind of fun. Scar's gonna. I know he's gonna be 24. Who won't affect us? Lee Shang is like. Uh, Possibility. I want to. I don't want to do any Dumbo now. That makes me nervous about Dumbo. Peter Pan. I could have done Wendy because she's twenty four hours. She would have been a lot of magic, but then she, that would have been my first one. Well, I guess not because Tinkerbell's maxed out. But like with the second part of that storyline there, that would have been the first one. So uh, Scrooge McDuck. He could be maxed out, and he's only twenty seven thousand. 24 hours. Oh gosh, I'm so torn. Uh, decisions, decisions. Oh, he's busy anyway. Okay, no decision there. Who am I gonna do? Maybe there isn't anybody to do right now. I guess I could choose an Alice one, as long as I didn't send everybody out already. Queen of Hearts maybe would be good, because I've been trying to finish up that collection. Uh, Alice. Yeah, the Queen of Hearts we could do. Whoa, 108,000 to do her? Holy smokes. That's insane. Absolutely insane. All right. Uh, we'll do it. 24 hours, she's gone. So let's just hope Ryder isn't uh, gonna be available in the meantime. Otherwise, we'll have to use a scroll. <laughs> There's Squirt coming back to the kingdom there. And Squirt is now a level eight. Sweet. It is sweet, dude. The prince is also taking ages to like collect stuff for, but the quests are pretty long for him for the most part. Not all the characters take ages, but there's a bunch of them that do. Um, yeah, okay, I think, I think we're good. Oh wait, we do have one more character. Oh, the bride. Oh, I forgot, I wanted to save her though. Um, for another one with Bruni, because those are like probably two of my favorite welcome screens right now. But I guess we'll bring her back. One day we'll try and get both on this in the same video, but uh, yeah. All right, here's the bride, guys. That's not a scary welcome screen at all. The bride is now level six. In sickness and in wealth. <laughs> yes, a creepy moaning Myrtle voice with no humor whatsoever or flair and drama <laughs> included in it. All right, well, at least we can keep working on her. So she's really neat. I'm, I'm really happy I got her. I remember, though, before I did, though, I was like, oh, I guess if I miss out on her because of, like, the 100 gems for Sapphire Chess, I was like, yeah, I don't know. Like, if I miss out on it, I guess, like, you know, that's life. But then I got her and she's just so cool. So cool. And she's probably the only one when she flies through those kids in, like, that are visiting my kingdom, that I'm like, it's not a glitch or weird because it's like, she's a ghost, right? So it makes so much sense. But when uh, other characters like Christopher Robin walk right through, I'm like, uh, yeah, kind of weird. Kind of weird. So... He's not a ghost, mind you. It definitely makes me think that, you know? All right, I think that's gonna be basically it for today, guys. I do wanna let you guys know, though, um, with obviously some of the changes coming up here uh, with YouTube and everything, make sure that you guys are following 
uh, Disney Girl on Instagram. If you guys want to link to that, if you're using your mobile, it will be in your about section. Or if you are using, I guess, a desktop computer, <laughs> um, it is going to actually be on my channel page up at the top. Uh, there are links, obviously, to all of my social media, like my blog and Instagram and all that kind of fun stuff. Also, too, make sure to check out my other channels. Uh, I am doing some more intense gaming on Kitty Cat and uh, some Harry Potter, obviously, on Potter Girl. So make sure you guys are following along with those. I will be doing more videos with Potter Girl coming very soon. Just with all my computer problems and stuff, I lost a lot of things. Uh, with that and so I'm trying to just play a little bit of catch up with my backup account at the moment to make sure I get like as much as I can uh, you know of those clips and everything that my computer had that I was gonna use for a live stream but now can't stream so I've just had to kind of like change up a little bit the format of how I'm gonna be doing things and stuff so I apologize for not posting on there a lot lately but uh, yeah I will be Kind of back to it uh, again in the next like week or so so make sure you guys are following along on both of those accounts to help support me as a creator but as well so you guys actually know what's going on because if you guys uh, know about some of the changes you may not know when people post like your favorite creators post videos and stuff so Instagram will become a very big source guys to get notifications and stuff like that of when videos are posted and stuff like that uh, there might actually end up being for me like an official schedule and stuff too um, but I just don't have that yet. I'm just waiting to try and find out uh, what's going on or a little bit more of what's going on first, but it should be coming like in the next week or so, um, you know, all of those official things for me so you guys will know about everything. But anyway, just follow me on Instagram. Keep yourself in the loop and part of the community because it is very important as a community that we do stick together so we can find out all of the up-to-date information for Disney Magic Kingdom's game. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video into the mist event. We have 15 days left, so you know what guys, if you haven't started, make sure you guys start today. Uh, you should be able to catch up relatively quickly if you guys are just starting the event now. But again, make sure that you guys are checking your kingdoms, you set your timers and everything, so you can make sure that you get everything with this Frozen 2 mini event. So again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you for the next Disney's Magic Kingdoms game video. Bye!